Good morning, YouTube mine lovers. Tom and Julie here, of course. We are going on a flower tour today. No, not really. We're no. looking for we're looking for a mine, but look at all the beautiful flowers. Uh, we're in a new area here up in Nevada. There's the Indian paintbrush. Very nice. There's some other lower ones. Pink, purple, white. There's another purple type behind Julie here. I don't know what these are. So we're going to walk up this old mining road and see what's up there. I see there was a power line going this way. And then right here there's a some sort of a electrical something that was melted. It's a uh, disconnect use only. It looks like it might be oh, maybe from a vehicle or something or a truck because it's it looks like it's uh, DC. It's got a positive and a negative on there. It looks like we've come upon a waste rock pile. And here's some wood and some structures over here. I don't know if it's a shaft or an old cabin or what. Maybe both. Oh, wow. Look at that toe. What's oh, a steel toe? Was. Oh, it, it was. So it's a green, no deposit, no return, 10 fluid ounces. It's got something on the bottom, but I cannot read it in this light. I'll take a photo of it. Well, that's the cabin. And just past that is a, actually an interesting looking opening. Oh, it had track coming out of it. Yeah. Sawhorse. Oh, yeah. An old sawhorse for working on the timbering. Tell me it's not full of rats. Toyas. Well, that looks interesting enough, doesn't it? Okay, let's go in this old mine and see what we have. You never know, do you? Could be good, could be bad. Most likely a little bit of both. It goes a little ways. What is that? Cleans dirt. Oh, some sort of cleaner can. That's interesting. Yeah. We'll look at that on the way out. I'm going to take a photo of it. Well, it goes through some hard rock here. Looks like the tracks are going to pick up in a few feet. At least for a second. They probably just left them because there's a little bend in them. I've noticed in the mines that they don't generally reclaim the tracks that have bends in them. Ooh, oh, file. oh yeah, cool file. Wow. Yeah. Nice find.
we don't know anything about this mine. The closest mine to this area is a tungsten mine. Oh, it goes away, doesn't it? Yeah. There are several adits, I believe, up above us. So it's entirely possible we might run into a vertical shaft that hooks into something else. But, who knows. Now the uh, geology is changing here to more of a red it was this, and now it's like tan, almost like a mud look to it. A few track ties laying around still. There's no noticeable vein here, is there? Like I said earlier, there are some adits uh, up above us, so maybe this was a haulage they dropped stuff down to, to haul it out. Gravity is the miner's friend. That looks like mine cat poop, doesn't it? They were going on a piece of cardboard. No timbering except for at the portal. Oh, there's a little something, isn't there? Coming to the end or a turn or something. Looks like a curve. Once again, they left the curved section of track, took out the straight stuff. Well, this looks like it's going to end. Looks like we'll have to go searching up above for more mine workings. I don't know if they were searching for something here or following something and took it all out. Who knows? We are working our way back out. I'm guessing that this was about 400, maybe 500 feet in length. There's that, that cool file. Let's take another look at that. That's a half round. It's a long file too. Still in pretty good shape except the tip is broken off. There it is. Come and find it yourself. Alright, we're going to go up the hill a little bit and see what we can find up there. There were a few jars of what appear to be some sort of a fat that's solid. It doesn't look like bacon fat because there's nothing really in it. Here's a steel pin. All right, we're back out.
So the main canyon we came up was down there. The adit that we just saw was around that corner. And now we're going up another road. It's not on our map, so we don't know where it goes. We're gonna find out. Boy, what a view today. Clear. Wow, I can't believe how steep this road is. Obviously it hasn't been used for many years. I don't think anybody's even walked up here. But look at this thing, it's just crazy steep. How do those guys in those old trucks get up these hills? Especially loaded with equipment and coming out with ore. Unbelievable. Here's a big frame of something. Looks like they were dragging it around. Could be for like a generator or an air compressor or an engine. Or it could just be a road drag, who knows. This is a very minerally looking section right here. This big outcropping of something. There's a big length of cable there. Well, you round the corner on this deal, around this big dike here of minerals, and you see some lumber and some tin and some waste rock. This thing is pretty crazy here. All the lichens is on the north side here. I'm standing on top of a raced rock pile and behind me where there ought to be a portal is nothing. Looks like it's eroded shut. But we're gonna keep looking. This looks like it was a big platform that has collapsed. And I don't know if it's full of ore that they never got out or what it is, but Well, there's that bin or platform that has collapsed. I'm on top of a fair sized waste rack pile. Light in color. All right, what have we here? It looks like a little shop area. This possibly could have been a forge. That looks like another file, doesn't it? Two files in one day. So there are some barrel hoops. That file. So this must have been a forge here. This looks like a ladder clamp that holds your ladders down. So maybe there's some ladders around. And I'm guessing that was a little forge. Here's another wall or a platform or something. There may have been a, a shack here because there is quite a bit of lumber that's down. There are more workings all the way up the hill from here too. This looks like the biggest pile right behind me though. So let's go in here and see what the heck's going on. Alrighty, let's go see what we have in this old mine. No timbering at the portal. Oh boy. Is that big poop? That's some big poop. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Big poop. Looks like human poop. But it's, I doubt that it is because it's more than one. Is that burl? I don't think so. Ooh, this is skinny. Yeah. You okay? Yep. There's something in the middle of the... Is that a bucket? 
bucket. I don't see an obvious vein, but this is really a minerally, minerally area. Another paint bucket. Yeah. It's like the one we saw outside, I believe. Olive drab paint. This one's got a little creepy vibe for some reason. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Why is there such a big pile out there? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Where does it go right? It must turn. It looks like something dead laying there, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it doesn't turn either. Okay, well this thing doesn't go that far. And this looks like a huge pile of dung of some sort. It's or is that the stomach of this animal? There's an animal over here. This might be the stomach contents of that animal. Because it looks like it's kind of undigested grass and such. But it's also like there's skin here. Now that's not pure poop. So there's a there's an animal here. It's quite small. Of course, the the backbone and none of that is here. There's the jawbone, and it looks like it's a little bighorn sheep. There's an ear and the and the horn, a little fork horn. I didn't even know they did that. They don't do that. They don't fork like that. They must just be, it must just be a very small sheep and it, the horns are just pushed together. But all four, four legs are there. No skull and no vertebrae. But look at the size of that poop back there and it's just black as can be. Wow. That's big. There's my foot next to it. It looks like it has grass in it though, doesn't it? Weird. Well, you never know what you're going to find in an old mine. I'm guessing that's the stomach of this thing. I don't know what else it could be. I knew it had kind of a creepy vibe to it. Yeah, it's got a high creep out for <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's go back out. Alright, we're back to the portal. It seems to be kind of a an inordinately large waste pile for that little drift. Here's a little dark lizard that's guarding the portal. <laughs> He's got a blue underbelly and he scratched his side. Let's see your belly again. I never knew they had such a blue belly. Well, I could just about touch them on my eight inches away from them with the camera. We're going to go a little higher up because there's some reason that this forge and little workshop area is here. And it just doesn't make sense. There was nothing even metal inside that drift. No track or no ladders or nothing so we're gonna go a little higher up and look around and see what we find. Well we're up on top of the next little set of waste truck piles and this one is either eroded shut or it was just a little cut there like that. And this one here only goes in about 10 feet.
here's an interesting crystal formation. Another one here on this big rock. More here. Well, we climbed up the mountain the rest of the way and there's not much up here. A couple adits that looked like they were there at one time or drifts are eroded shut. And this one looks like it was just a little open cut. It's a very mineral rich area here. There's a huge dike in front of us or an outcropping. So who knows, maybe they were just picking around here and there. We're gonna go look around somewhere else, see what we can find.